Hey everyone, I'm Nog, and welcome back to Orc Colony. In the last episode, the first episode of this Let's Try, we got a couple of basic copper mines built, or basic silver mines built, a basic copper mine, and a smelter, and we also upgraded our initial quarry to be advanced, and an advanced mason. And we have the goblins room here with three goblins and another one up there with two goblins. And then we have all of this upgraded to advanced, which I think is the max level. So hopefully this will keep up with our demand. So we have 73 pigs in there now. So let's say stop doing that and do that instead. Actually, let's just do like this. All right. So hopefully the cook will start cooking soon. Food is a bit of an issue and so is stone. So we built a basic quarry here and I think I'm going to upgrade that. Actually, before we upgrade the quarry, we need another mason and we're going to plonk it down there. And then we're going to upgrade that and upgrade that, even though we can't. When we can, we will upgrade that. Okay. So we have an improved quarry now. So hopefully stones will start coming in a bit faster. We don't have any requests at the moment. We did, did fulfill two requests, generating us a total of 2,400 crowns, 1,200 crowns each. So that was nice. And crowns does seem to be a pain point as well. Again, uh, like I said at the end of the last episode, if you do know the game, uh, please feel free to give me tips in the comments. I would love to hear uh, some of your tips and uh, show screenshots and so on of your colony. And yeah, let me know what you think of the game. And Always nice to hear other people's point of view. So a trader has arrived. So let's see, do we want to trade anything? We have 61 pigs, wow. Um, don't think we want to trade anything. We have a bit of crowns. I think we're going to leave it as it is. We are okay for food for now. And we have, we have a bit of copper. So what we could do is Build a copper weaponsmith, I guess. But first, I think first things first, let's upgrade. Why can't I upgrade that mason? I guess I don't have enough stones to do it. I need 30 stones to upgrade the mason. Okay. So soon I'll be able to upgrade the mason. And we're going to do that as high priority. Okay. Because we need more stones coming in, obviously. The cook is cooking and the butcher is taking a lunch break. Now the big farmer is taking a lunch break. So yeah, everything is fine and dandy in RAR, our colony. All right, good. So let's speed things up. Nord can't find an empty bed to sleep in, so maybe we need to upgrade our bedroom. We need 30 stone again. So we're going to upgrade the bedroom as soon as we have 30 stone, so we don't get grumpy orcs. I think orcs in and of themselves are a little bit grumpy of nature, and making them even grumpier by not having a bed is not going to help things at all. So... Yeah, let's get that stone going. Come on, come on, come on. We should actually upgrade these to cost 45. All right, did we upgrade the basic bedroom? I think we'll upgrade the basic bedroom now. To give people a little bit more space to sleep. And we might need to upgrade a dining room as well. How much does that cost? 30. Okay. I think before we do that, we're going to... 
upgrade these to the quarry and the mason so that we produce more stone. It seems to be our problem right now is stone. Okay, Orc King requests materials for campaign. Okay. So our kingdom's warbands have suffered a defeat in the hands of the humans. We need to raise new troops quickly. I would like you to send 14 units of copper ores by April 24, 1301. That's in two weeks, so that we can march soon and remove the shame of this defeat. We will accept, and I think we already have. No, we have six units of copper ores. So if we say storeroom and copper ores, I want you to store that in there. That should get our copper ores going up. I hope. Not being used to produce copper ingots. That's the idea anyway. I, I hope that's how it works. I hope I understood it right. Yeah, now we have nine copper ores. Okay. Oh, oh, we can upgrade for it. Advanced. Let's see, can we? Oh, there is no way to upgrade this. Advanced is the highest level. So let's find then. How many do we have now? Nine. Grab some more copper ores, guys. We need them. I think one is coming with them now. Yeah, we're up to 12. We're up to April 15th, so we need two more. Two more copper ores, please. Please. We really need those copper ores. Come on, guys. Goblins, I should say, I guess. Oh, he is picking up copper ores. And we have 15, so now we can fulfill this request. Excellent. And then we can say, storeroom, don't store these copper ores. We have 55 pigs, that's quite a few pigs. And rocks are starting to pile up now, but that's because we haven't upgraded the mason. We have now. So now we have two advanced quarries and two advanced masons working on making stones for us so that should help a bit but I do think we need one more I do think we need one more there is a some rocks there so here we have copper and silver let's see how much does it cost to operate a silver mine 30 before we build that stuff I think we'll upgrade the rest okay so 600 crowns Man, that was a little bit cheap, Dad. Okay, but still, 600 crowns is good. Alright, so what do we have going on here? We have good food now. Well, that's nice. You don't want to sell anything, I think. Yeah, we have a bit of money. Could sell some. Let's sell down to 75. Get a bit of more, bit more money. And two. And then let's upgrade the mines. The silver mines, so that they produce more silver, giving us more crowns. We wanted to upgrade a dining room as well. Do that now. Get a few more places for our orcs to eat. Alright. So how many stones do we have? 12 stones is really our big problem right now. So let's dig out here. And there we have some silver. But I'm not sure I want to use that. I don't want to use that because I want an elevator. 
Definitely want an elevator. Uh, oh, can we put more cars in? Oh, let's put another elevator car in there. Very nice. We have two re elevator cars now, making the goblins not have to wait. And the orcs as well, so that's good. Okay, they want 28 units of pigs by 15 of May. We can accept that. And we can actually ship them off right this minute. That's really nice. That is really nice. You know what, we're doing pretty good on meat, so let's... Or on food, so let's store some meat in the in the storeroom for a bit so that we have enough to fulfill requests coming in okay. so this is now 24 but I do want an elevator so let's build that and hopefully we can link the rooms up somewhere All right, 1,200 crowns. Oh, we are doing quite well. We are doing quite well. So we might as well upgrade all of this stuff. Let's see, what does it cost to build this weaponsmith? 15 stone, copper weaponsmith. So we could build that now. And unfortunately, we don't have room for it on the floor where we are producing copper. So let's build it over here. We have there the advanced mason. Okay, so we have a coppersmith who's now making weapons. Very nice. And I suppose we should build a copper armor smith as well. Build him over there. And then I want copper mine down here. And then we'll pull, put a copper smelter here, when we can. Just need a bit more stone, there we go. Alright. So we are making weapons. We are making weapons. We're doing very well for money. We need to upgrade more. Actually, we could just have upgraded these two. Ah, never mind. It's fine. We need them anyway. So... I really like that you can have more cars. I didn't know that. That's really cool. But basically, there's almost no wait time. What's taking the longest is them running around. Okay, I think we have enough meat stored up now, so let's tell it not to store meats. And let's tell it to store pigs for a bit. Yeah. Okay. Very nice. This is up to advanced. We have some we need thirty. Right. So that's an improved now and we need to get this up to improved as well. I think we're doing quite good. I think we're doing quite good. We want this to be a silver mine or a quarry. Good question. All right, let's have a look at our storeroom. Do we have? We do. We have 15 weapons and 12 armors. Well, maybe we can go raiding soon. But we do need a. We need a throne room and we need a champion's room. So. 
stone room. 250 and 90 stone. Maybe we should build even more stone stuff. And it seems like we need it. I think we're going to make this a quarry. We're producing nowhere near enough stone. And we have enough big store dog for now. Let's do that. I think... What if we... Distribution and set an elevator there and an elevator there. Trader? We could buy some stone. Do we really want to buy stone? I don't think I want to buy stone. Because I want my crowns. Maybe I want to sell something. Ooh, these sell for a lot. And that's clear. Okay for now. We're okay for now. So we have copper and we have silver. I want to dig out this way a bit. Okay. I think we'll put the throne room there. Kind of Sealed off and on its own. Bit of a private space for the prince. If that's reasonable. And that goes to a silver ore. Silver mine, I guess it will be eventually. Right. The food is going up again. It was going down, but because we were storing the meats, it's going up now. That's good. All right. So we need 90 to build the throne room. Yeah. And what about a champion room? 1500. Jesus. But only 15 stone. Throne room costs 250. Why is that? champion's room more expensive than the throne room. I'm the prince. You might be a champion, but I'm the prince. Hmm. I have no idea. Alright, we're getting there. We're almost there on the stones. For our throne room. And we do, we do need to speed up the stone production. That's for damn sure. And before we look at that Let's build this throne room right here. Okay, a request for 28 units of meat by June 13. I guess it's always two weeks or something. All right, so we need to say storeroom, store up meats. We have a throne room, fantastic. And there goes our prince sit on the throne. Very nice. Let's slow it down a bit and take a look at these guys. He's chopping. He ain't doing anything. He's melting. I think it's really nice. Yeah, let's and pause for a second. There's a goblin running around. It's a good look looking game in my opinion. I think it looks really nice. I like the art style. Very cool. So we have 26 meats now. And we have 18 stones. We need a bit more coins in order, or crowns, in order to be able to build the champion's room. Mm, should we put another elevator in there? It will do that. There's three elevator cars. I think that will be good. And... Uh, oh, what did it say? An orc can't find what? A place to eat. I think it said a place to eat. 
and we might need to upgrade here. I think we can just upgrade that. It's cheaper to upgrade that than the other one. So let's do it. Good that they don't have to go to the bathroom, I think. Coming into the toilet after uh, one of these boys have been in there, that, that could be a very, very unpleasant ex experience. Definitely need a nose, nose clamp for that. Alright. So, how are we looking? Well, we need to fulfill this request. And we need to tell storeroom to stop storing meats. Okay. Let's see, we might want to upgrade this guy again so we get one more goblin running around picking up stuff. If that wouldn't hurt. If we look, our goods. I wonder where we're getting iron ores from. We have iron armors and iron weapons. How come? Oh, no, we don't. I'm looking at it the wrong way. So, copper ores. Okay, I get it. We do have a lot of uh, weapons and armors now, which is really nice. We do have the throne room. Let's have a look. Pick a village or city to raid. Arasa, human village, this is light to mid level of defenders, you can send orcs to raid or buy more detailed info, okay, light, light to mid level, our colony, orc city, light to mid level, light to mid level, okay, but I think the do we want to wait for a champion? I think we need to wait for a champion. So next time there's a trader around, we're going to sell some of our armors and weapons. And get up to that. Oh, actually we just fulfilled a request, right? So soon we'll get 1,200, I think. Yes, 1,200 crowns. And that means that we can build a champion's room. Yay! Wow, that's big. Five. Okay, champion's room is going to be here. Of course, we did have copper over here as well, so it's fine. And the champion should be close to the throne room, right? Yeah. Right. So, there's that. Let's see, is there anything we want to upgrade? We should upgrade our copper smelter. Because we did upgrade the mine, it's actually improved. So, okay, now, now that's improved as well. Good. That's advanced, that's basic. These two, or these three, are improved, so those need to be upgraded as well. Okay, so did we get a champion? We have a champion. We have a champion! Alright, so I am going to save this game. Why can't I do that? Oh, like that. And we're going to try and do a raid on this village there. Actually, let's buy info for 100. So 40, 40 defenders. Let's send our orcs to raid. Agnar is the only one. Is that? We can send one orc to raid. One. Hmm. Let's try it. Let's see what happens. It does seem a bit underwhelming that it's just one dude running around out there to raid 40 humans. 
Alright. Trader. Okay, trader. So let's sell some of this stuff. Let's go down to 30. And accept that. I wonder how this goes. I wonder how this goes, this raid. Can we see the world? There it is. GTA 3 days. Let's speed things up. I want to see how that raid goes. With one orc charging down a human village. Doesn't seem like much of a raid. But he is a champion. He is a champion. Okay, raid. A raid party is attacking. A raiding party arrived at the outskirts of the human village of Arasa and their champions are ready to defend their village. You only have to say the word for the battle to start. Charge. Okay. 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 So definitely don't just send one champion to raid. What does it cost to upgrade? Win battles and champion will upgrade his room. Okay. So we need more. 28 units of meat. We can accept that and we can fulfill it straight away. Okay, let's uh, end it there, guys. Uh, we uh, it was a bit of a <laughs> uh, a disaster our, our raid there, but uh, you live and you learn, and hopefully we'll get a new champion moving in here. Maybe I don't know, or the same champion will come back bruised or something like that. I have no idea. We will find out in the next episode. So thank you very much for watching, guys. I hope you enjoyed it. If you did, why not leave a like and maybe subscribe. And I'll see you next time.